Good afternoon, and welcome to Internet Roundup. That's Josh. You look great. Thanks. I'm Chuck. I look how I look. Oh, you look great, too. And this, thank you. And this is uh, our little Internet Clubhouse home on the web, where we like to find neat little stories and share them with the world. Yeah, by talking to one another about them. (laughs) That's right. In front of a camera. That's what we do. Uh, This first story is from NPR. And they always bring the goods. Well, this is specifically from Jason Bobian, who's a, a little bit of a hero of mine as far as journalists go. Is he really? Oh, man. What's, if there's what, like something the horrible going on somewhere in the world, Jason Bobian's the one reporting. Really? Yeah. Bobes. He's good. All right. I've never heard of him, but I've probably read his stuff and not realized You have. It. You've heard. Uh, yes. For tons sure. Tons of times. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, the title of this one is, A Cow Head Will Not Erupt From Your Body If You Get a Smallpox Vaccine. And it's kind of a fun little story about the history of the first vaccination, really. Yeah. uh, Which was smallpox. Yeah, it was a a country doctor um, in England in the 18th century, so the 1700s, Mm -hmm. because we don't start counting from zero. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, (laughs) His name was Edward Jenner. Yes. And he had a suspicion about milkmaids, right? Yeah, that um, he noticed that milkmaids didn't get smallpox as much as other folks. Right. And milkmaids were known uh, at the time to have, uh, well, a compliment was like, your skin is as creamy as a milkmaid. Right. And he was like, that's because they don't get smallpox. Yeah. They have nice skin. And he said, well, why wouldn't they? What do milkmaids do that other people don't do? Drive? Milk Drive cows. a car? Oh, no. milk a cow. <laughs> yeah. That's a, yeah, so Edward Jenner is like, well, wait a minute, cows have cowpox. Maybe the milkmaids are spending time around the cows, catch cowpox, and then that somehow confers immunity yeah. to smallpox, which is far deadlier. Really and radical so, thinking. Yeah, it really was. I mean, this is brilliant yeah, thinking. Yeah, and because it was the 18th century, he got a young boy and injected him with cowpox. <laughs> And then healed him, yep. and then injected him with smallpox to see what would happen. And what <laughs> happened was nothing happened. Thank God. Which is a big deal. Which is why we can laugh. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. The fact that it turned out well allows exactly. for laughing. But um, it, it it proved to Jenner that, you know, this this I'm kind of on to something here. Mm-hmm. It didn't necessarily prove to the rest of the world immediately. No that he was on to something. It's a bit of a hard sell at the time. Yeah, religious leaders said, even if you are right, it's immoral to try to stop a disease that God is, a pestilence that God has brought on you. Other people were like, "Mm, I don't know about being injected with a disease. (laughs) There was an illustration in this article um, of a woman being injected with the cowpox vaccination, the smallpox vaccination of cowpox. Yeah. And like a cow's head is sprouting from her body. Yeah, it was uh, like uh, an editorial cartoon, basically. Yeah. To scare people into not getting inoculated and saving their lives. Which is still going on these days. Yeah, and uh, smallpox has been eradicated. Um, It travels from person to person, and I think the last place this article says uh, was Ethiopia was sort of the last holdout. Yeah. Um, Actually, Somalia was the last case they recorded. Since then? Yeah, it said, I'm sorry, the last case was 1977 in Somalia, but um, they had a hard time in Ethiopia apparently because of the marxist revolution they just couldn't get it to people and i feel like we've said before that smallpox was the one disease we eradicated and a lot of people wrote in and said uh that's not necessarily true i kind of like, remember that too like to be eradicated it wouldn't be on the planet and it's in like storage on the planet oh uh, was that the deal yeah and it was a couple of years ago so at the time i was like oh who cares the cdc has it in storage since then i'm like oh the cdc has it in storage right remember they found smallpox in a closet, a regular old closet, yeah. a vial of smallpox from the 50s that no one knew existed. That, that was just sitting in a closet for years, and they just found it like the other day at think, well, the National Institutes of Health. It was the smallpox closet, though. Yeah, I think the, uh, the tape that that was written on peeled off over the years, and then it just became a closet. Right, yeah. and underneath that it said leprosy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Steer clear of the leprosy closet. Uh, so pretty cool. What was his name again? Jason Bobian. Man, like he was reporting from Juarez at the height oh, of wow. like their drug war, Crazy. like actual drug war, you know? Like He's the he, real deal. He definitely is. All right, and this next one you found, so I'll let you go ahead and lead this one. I think it's pretty neato. I found this site called Next Nature. It's just a generally cool site, but they had a couple of posts. Um, the one that brought me to them 
was a post on Pac-Man's skull. So yeah, a guy named uh, Francoise Esquilia, a paleontologist, got together with Le Gentil Garçon, which means the genteel boy <laughs> en français. And um, they basically decided what Pac-Man's skull should look like if it were in real life. And it's pretty awesome. Yeah. It looks like Pac-Man's skull. And uh, was it the same people who went... Uh, was that their first project? I think that... I don't know if it was their first or not, but I don't think they were the same people that did the other stuff. This oh, was okay. um, This is a person named... Yeah, uh, Young Koo Lee. Yeah. Uh, and he did a series, he or she, I'm not sure, did a series called uh, Animatus. Yeah, and they are hand-fabricated skeletons of cartoon so characters. Cool. So, like, you can see Bugs Bunny right here, which is really awesome. Yeah. And the Mickey Mouse one, actually the Mickey Mouse and the Roadrunner are both equally as cool, I think. Yeah. It's it's almost like the body's exhibit of cartoon characters. Yeah. Uh, if, in a way. If you go to um, Next Nature, too, on the Animatus page, it's got a dead link. I wonder if he or she got hit with any uh, resistance from Disney and Wouldn't you just guess? Tunes, probably. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want you to see the inside of Mickey Mouse's skull. Right. <laughs> we own the rights to that. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. Definitely check it out. Support cool art. Yeah. And check out uh, Next Nature. It's just a cool site altogether. Agreed. Yeah. So we will see you next week on the Internet Roundup. <laughs>